know you're a married man. Whether or not we separated or not, you're married. All right. Okay. All right. All right, I love you too. Okay, bye. Oh, I like it when men say they're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard to hear them say that, right? Yay! To the club! about strip clubs. These women put their bodies out there for money, but where is the line for them with their own sexuality, and how do they feel about it? They're in control, but how much do they feel they're actually giving up? I mean, they're just titties. You have to have like a very like thick skin to be a dancer. So if you're a very sensitive, emotional girl and you're constantly crying, I can tell you right now, you're not gonna get very far, you know, because you have to be, you have to be able to handle criticism. If you asked me to speak in front of a crowd, I probably could not do it. But I could go on stage and dance half naked in front of a bunch of people and not feel weird about it. I don't know why. How do you feel about people who look down or like, you know, feel like this is objectifying women? You know, it's funny, some people do that. They've been in these clubs as customers, and uh, they enjoy the show, but at the same time, they look at it down. It just, I, I, I don't know why. These girls, they, they are performers. They're doing work to make a living. They make good money, but if they had a choice, they would do something else, no? Oh, I, I think so, absolutely. I mean, yeah. which girl wants to strip, you know? But honestly, some girls, that's enjoy all what they love it, and they don't want to do anything else. Are there any other tips or like things that you would recommend for a first time dancer? Just believe. Just believe. Believe that they're gonna say yes right. when you mm -hmm. offer them lap dance, and that's, I mean, that's a good. Totally. First. Yeah, and you're is, in the, yeah. you're in the power seat. Exactly. Hey, right? You know, it is. Yeah. That is absolutely, exactly. absolutely mm -hmm. true. Right. I come here for a reason, and the reason is you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's almost like you create this just sexy persona of yourself, yeah, yeah. and you're like, you know what? I am what you want. Say I was gonna be a dancer. Would there be like advice of like how to? Present myself in a different way? I would say. You could be harsh. No, 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 no. I would say um, probably just try to be as sexy and desirable as possible. How do you do that? You just have to like look at people and have your mouth like straight and sexy. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I don't know. Yeah. Am I doing it? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think they believe me? You do it again? Kind of. Kind of? <laughs> that one looked like I smelled something bad. What would you think if your daughter was a dancer? You know, as a father, you know, you don't want your daughter to be dancing. I'm not putting anybody down, but I mean, if, if, uh, I don't feel comfortable about it. Absolutely not. No. Yeah. yeah. You only have one daughter, right? Yep, and she's sitting in front of me. Right. Okay. It's, it's your career, it's your life. Thanks, Dad. So what do you say to someone, like, when you're, say there's, like, a new customer, um, if he was, like, if you were kind of attracted to him, would that throw you off, or? I don't talk to guys that are somewhat attractive. I try to stay away from them. Really? Yeah. Stay away from the attractive ones, okay. I don't want somewhere in my mind to get confused into making it think that it's more than what it is. You know what I mean? You're trying to keep it separate. Your yeah. personal life with your work life, so no. Do you think there'll be strip clubs in the year 2,550? 
I think they will have strip clubs to the last day. I think he's right. Guys will always want to see women naked. The fact that my dad makes money off of it isn't really a big deal. It's just a business. Located at 69444 Perez Road in Cathedral City. Open till 2, even on holidays. I've been meditating for over two years. I was excited to meet kids who meditated. 